Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy d -Lloyd. so I'm here. This should hopefully be a quick video. I don't want to make this too long, but we're heading into our bio week. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you our standings, showing the stats, and then probably in a separate video, I will go through all of our scouting because I'll probably take about a good 10 minutes to go through that whole thing. So I want to make that into a separate video. So first thing is first, I want to go ahead and simulate through this week. And then we'll go see where the standings are, look at the stats, all that good stuff. So apparently we have a player that has regressed. And that player is Buck Allen because he had the two fumbles. So he is going to regress a little bit. His carrying dropping down to an 84 overall. He had a very good game in the last game against the Bengals. But he is going to go ahead and regress. So we're going to go ahead and advance the week. Like I said, we're going to take a look at the standings, take a look at the stats. We're pretty much uh, midway through the season, so or we are at the midway point of the season. So um, we should have a very good view on how competitive a lot of these teams are and our chances of making the playoffs. So first thing we'll go ahead and do, look at the standings. And you see right away the Cowboys are the only undefeated team in the NFL. 7-0. You have a couple of one-loss teams. You have the Houston Texans, which is kind of surprising. You have the New England Patriots, who does not surprise me at all. And the Jacksonville Jaguars are 5-1-1. One, one. So a very good season for them. You have the New Orleans Saints, Buffalo Bills, Seattle Seahawks. Um, you have us at 5-3. The Chiefs, Packers, Rams, Browns. A lot of three-loss teams. Um, Broncos. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Then when we look at the worst teams in the NFL, you have the Tennessee Titans, San Diego Chargers. Both of them are one and six. In the Chargers case, they are one, six, and one. So looking at the AFC North, which is obviously important to us, we just beat the Bengals, who were in first place last week. We are now in first place in the AFC North. So we struggled a little bit early in the year, but now we're on a three-game winning streak. Hopefully, we can keep that up moving forward and i think they have a very good shot at it i mean the browns i don't see them really catching us even though they did beat us last time we played them but when you look at the rest of our schedule um i don't think it's something that would definitely be crazy in terms of stopping us from winning a lot of games so we play the um, tennessee titans like i said they're the worst team in, in the nfl right now the jaguars they are surprisingly good now we'll see if the talent is there or if it's the record that's just really making them better and you know we have a couple of good matchups a couple of tough matchups the Houston Texans um, not sure what they want to be doing either because their record is very good one of the best in the league I'm not sure where the talent is either so that would be interesting to see what happens the Green Bay Packers um, you know Aaron Rodgers you can never really sleep on him and that will be an interesting matchup too but I think we have a shot of making the playoffs as long as we stay ahead of the Cleveland Browns I think we should be pretty good so Let's go ahead and take a look at our stats first, and we'll look at the stats from around the league. So Chris Wilbur, you see Joe Flacco right there. Joe Flacco, eight touchdowns, ten interceptions before we end up benching him for the season. Um, Chris Wilbur, as a rookie, 13 touchdowns, eight interceptions. Hasn't thrown an interception in the last two games. So that is pretty good. 110 quarterback rating at this point. 69% of his passing um, have been completed. Has been sacked 20 times. That's the only downside. But besides that, I kind of been, you know, satisfied, to say the least, from Chris Wilbur. I think he will develop into a franchise quarterback. And I think we made a good selection drafting him in the draft. As for our running backs, Carlos Williams has the most carries, obviously. He's averaging 3.5 yards a carry, 71 attempts, 252 yards. Devonta McCullum, who is our rookie, is averaging 3.9 yards per carry but Buck Allen he only played in the last game 5.2 yards a carry but he did fumble the ball two times so that is definitely kind of concerning um, as for our running backs kind of been all over the place hopefully we can get this solidified soon I know you, a lot of you guys think we should go ahead and rock with Carlos Williams as for our receivers Matt Teague 39 catches one yard shy of a thousand yards receiving already averaging 25 yards per reception 125 yards per game 12 touchdowns already uh, Matt Teague has definitely been balling this year and especially as a deep threat you guys that 6-6 frame at 90 speed is absolutely crazy Braxton Miller 38 receptions more of a possession receiver for us um, but he's been very reliable two touchdowns this year we have Crockett Gilmore up there Carlos Williams Devonta McCullum obviously our running backs getting some receptions Vincent Jackson I'm not sure where his status is um, as terms of remaining with the team moving forward he is on IR and I'm thinking of moving on 
from Vincent Jackson already. But that's definitely just a thought. Bashar Perriman, um, six receptions, 228 yards, two touchdowns. He is pretty much a one-trick pony, either on the screen or on a deep ball. But that speed, it always makes him a possibility for a home run to actually hit with um, Perriman. As for our defensive player, C.J. Mosley is leading us with 58 tackles. But Jeffrey Toler, our rookie, has 57. He even has more solos than C.J. Mosley. Having a very, very good year. One interception, you guys. Eight tackles for a loss. Um, I believe he might even have a forced fumble. Let's go ahead and look at that. One forced fumble, two fumble recovery. So our rookie is doing very good. We can take a look at the awards later. He should be in the running for Defensive Rookie of the Year. Jimmy Smith, he's been doing pretty good for us. Eric Weddle, obviously he's doing his thing. Von Miller, six and a half sacks so far. Um, definitely can't complain with that. Sewell Cravens, he's been hurt, but I like him when he's out there. But Terrence Brooks, he's been stepping in as well for Cravens. So one thing we're going to do is look at the whole league very quickly. We'll look at the awards, and then we should be pretty good. I want to keep this episode as quick as possible, but still want to show you guys all the stats. So Andy Dalton leading the league in passing. Y'all did you see Drew Brees, Blake Bortles, Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, Tom Brady, Brock Osweiler. They're all there in that list. I'm looking at the top quarterbacks in terms of touchdowns. You have Drew Brees with 25. He is leading Blake Bortles by six who has 19 touchdowns this year. Osweiler with 17. Carson Wentz, very good year. 15 touchdowns, only four interceptions. Tony Romo, he's still starting in Dallas. He has 14 touchdowns to only two interceptions. So very efficient for him as well. It's going to take us a while, like I said, to get to Chris Wilbur, who's sitting at 13. You got James Winston there, Kirk Cousins, um, Russell Wilson. Like I said, Chris Wilbur, um, Colin Kaepernick, um, Tyrod Taylor, names like that. But we are ahead of Tom Brady, who has 11 touchdowns, 4 interceptions, and Ben Roethlisberger. So that is a good sign, I guess. And then looking at the interceptions leader, it's going to be Joe Flacco with 10. Sam Bradford has 10 as well. And then Jameis Winston, Chris Wilbur, Colin Kaepernick, and Jared Goff. They all have 8 interceptions. As for the rushing leaders, it is going to be Ezekiel Elliott. 622 rushing yards so far this season. Devontae Freeman right behind him at 592. You got TJ Yeldon. Second year in the league, he's up there. Very um, explosive back. You got Shane Vereen up there. That's kind of surprising for the Bears. Adrian Peterson still kicking at an older age. Mark Ingram, LaShawn McCord, Latavius Murray. Even LeGarrette Blunt now playing for the Rams. He is up there. So a lot of kind of familiar running backs up there. Looking at receivers, though, Devontae Adams has the most receptions with 53. You have Jordy Nelson. You know Green Bay is going to throw the ball a lot. So are the Saints. Brandon Cooks is there. 690 yards receiving. A.J. Green is a beast. 50 receptions, 871 yards, 8 touchdowns from A.J. Green. Um, we have a rookie with 42 receptions, 493, and 6 touchdowns. So not bad from Tuan Roll. I don't think I said his name right, but um, yeah, anyway, for the Saints, they got a rookie running back there. Uh, when you look at actual receiving yards, I'm clicking on the wrong stat. Looking at receiving yards, Matt Teague is leading everybody with 999. A.J. Green's in second, and there's a distance between A.J. Green and Brandon Cooks, Devontae Adams, and Jordy Nelson. And yeah, then taking a look at receiving touchdowns, Matt Teague is leading the league by four. You got A.J. Green, Allen Robinson, and DeAnthony Thomas. Kind of surprising. He's up there as well. So taking a look at the defense real quick before we get to the awards. In um, terms of just tackles, you got Quan Golston, who is a rookie with 80 total tackles this year. Um, Steven Tulloch, Wesley Woodyard's there, Bostic, and I think we were at about 30, maybe 50 tackles. I can't really remember where um, our players came in. But looking at quarterback sacks, you have Vinny Curry with nine and a half, Clay Matthews with nine, Jarrell Casey with nine. Then you go down a little bit, and Vaughn Miller is here at six and a half. So not the leading sacker, sacker in the league, but not that bad. Um, he's also been generating a lot of pass rushes uh, on pass hurry. So i still been liking what he's been doing. Been disrupting the quarterback a lot. Luke Keekley has the most interceptions with eight. Halfway through the season, pretty much getting one interception per game. So that is absolutely crazy from Luke Keekley. And I think that is pretty much everything we're going to look at here. If I'm missing anything, um, definitely let me know in terms of stats. Um, as for awards right now, we can see who's kind of leading 
these races so far so mvp you have drew Brees at this point blake bortles second in the mvp voting coach of the year you got jason garrett and we're not even on this list but we are five and three so i'm not really gonna worry about it offensive player of the year you got blake bortles you have matt teague so far as number two on the offensive player of the year defensive player of the year um dante hightower so far Offensive Rookie of the Year, like I said, you have Matt Teague, and we also have Chris Wilbur. Even Javante McCullum is there, but like he, like I said earlier, he is injured for a while, so uh, he'll probably fall off that list at some point. Defensive Rookie of the Year for the AFC, you have Jeffrey Toler leading so far. So we have two guys who has a chance to win some type of awards this year. Um, best running backs, best receiver, Matt Teague, um, Joe Thomas, Best defensive lineman, Jarrell Casey. Best linebacker, Justin Houston. Stephon Gilmore. And then we have Justin Tucker, who's even in the running for the best kicker. I don't know how that happened. I think I missed a couple of extra points this year. But um, I think that is pretty much everything, you guys. If I'm missing something, definitely let me know. I will make a separate video going over um, everything I've been doing in scouting. Kind of tell you where I'm looking at. Um, but you see our roster right here. We're pretty solid across the board. If you have any suggestions as to what positions we need to upgrade, definitely let me know that in the comment section below. But that's all I have for this episode, you guys. I definitely hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're enjoying this series, please go ahead and leave this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.